Today let's take a look at a product I ordered from boltonhooks.com. What I ordered were these bolt-on clevis mounts that I plan on using on my John Deere 1025R. What these are designed for do is you bolt them on your bucket. They're designed to accept a half inch screw clevis. And it gives you somewhere to hook a chain onto, a strap onto, on your bucket. Let's take a closer look at these. This is all zinc plated steel. Laser cut, as you can see the pierce mark for the laser there. Really nice cut all the way around. Really nice looking welds. See the angle on the welds is really nice too. This is half inch thick here. This is quarter inch here. They come with the hardware if you order them with the hardware. Nice grade eight, half and half by thirteen bolts. As you can see, because they're laser cut. It's a really nice fit for the bolts. I ordered mine with the backing plates. They're also laser cut. They match up perfectly. So you'll see here in a little later video of me installing these. But that's a little overview. So let's mount our clevis mounts. Um, I painted mine, I primed mine today because it was a really nice day out. So um, I'm just going to use one of the backing plates for the template, they're the same holes. But if you don't have the backing plates, you can still use this. Just uh, don't paint it the same day you want to drill your holes. Okay, so we're just going to get this where we want it. We want it right here, right in line with the loader arms. Okay. So I put a piece of blue tape right about where my holes are going to be. I'm just going to get it lined up here. I'm going to cheat a little bit. This is a 1364 center punch. And it looks to me that if I lay that there, lay it up here, I got about the same spacing. We're just going to cheat a little bit. Less measuring the better. Less you measure, less you can get it wrong, right? So that looks right over where we want it. And what I'm going to use to punch the holes here. This is just a center punch. Hopefully it focuses on it, but it's just a half inch round piece of metal that's got a really sharp point in the center. So this way when you put it in a half inch hole and you hit it with a hammer, you end up with a center punch mark perfectly in the side of that hole. You can do the same thing with a uh, marker and just trace the holes. This is just a little bit simpler. So right there I got my two holes. I'm going to start with a real small bit here.
So one of the other advantages of the center punch is if you want to make sure, actually just wiggle your punch a little bit in there, and you get it right back to where it was before, and we should look good. So my holes are in the right spot. That's why we can drill these bigger. I'm gonna step up here in sizes. And of course, battery dies. So here we have the last drill bit, half inch drill bit. I think it's a half inch drill bit shot. And there you go. There's our holes drilled. Uh, finish painting them tomorrow, and we'll come back and bolt them on. Now that we got these all painted, they're dry. We got the hardware sitting here. We're gonna bolt them tight. Um, the directions that come with these 
are really nice, really nicely written, one page front and back. It explains everything very nice. Um, really detailed where the washers go if you don't got the backing plate because there's two different size washers, where to mount them. Very nicely written instructions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on here, bolt them in, rattle them tight with the cordless impact gun, and then I'm going to torque them to, it says in here about 75 to 100, I'm going to do about 90. So here we go. I got it in there, got the backing plate held up there a little bit. I'm gonna take our two washers. So that's one side on, all torqued. Personally, they're good. They're just through. I would rather see them a little bit longer, maybe a thread or two sticking through instead, but there's a backing plate up in there. There's the hook on top. Don't, uh, don't mind the paint job, I ain't the world's best painter. But let's uh, do the other side. Now that we got it installed, we're going to put our clevis in just like that when we want to use it. And if we don't want to hear it rattling around all the time, real simple when you're done using it, just pull her back off and you're left with it. Something that ain't gonna catch strick or ain't gonna catch brush. You give a good solid point to pull from. But that's it for this video. Be sure to check out boltonhooks.com to get your own. Be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe to this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.